Good morning, beauties. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Yanni, and happy Halloween. So today is officially Halloween, and I was inspired by this photo. We're going to attempt to recreate this. I found it on Pinterest. It's a glam skull. So yeah, I figured might as well do something cute, but still me. So if you're interested in seeing how I recreate this look, then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, because you know, we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint, and keep on watching. Okay, so I think I am going to go ahead and jump into a voiceover so that it is like much faster. So I'll be right back. So first I'm going to go in and prime my lids. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the color Cashew, which I realized this was a little too dark for me, so I then decided to go in with a different concealer because I wanted to carve out my brows. So I'm using the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer, and this is in the color Light Honey, number 30. And I'm using this to carve out my brows and just bring them forward because I really want this look to be nice and smoky. Then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm going to blend all of that concealer out and just pat it in, make sure everything is nice and blended. I really want this to not be like wet and sticky because we are putting some matte shadows. So next I'm gonna set that with my Dermablend Translucent Setting Powder. I love this setting powder. It makes my skin super, super flawless. So we're gonna go ahead and pat that in, and make sure that everything is nice and set. And then we're gonna go into the ELF Opposites Attract palette. And I'm using the color Warm. And it's like a chocolatey brown type of color. And I'm gonna use that to start creating the brown smoky eye that I'm gonna be doing. And I went ahead and decided that I wanted to go in with a smaller brush. I was using my Morphe M504. Then I went in to the color Sassy with that small ColourPop brush. I wanted to blend out some of that chocolatey brown because I felt like it was just a tiny bit too dark. I wanted it to have like more of a red undertone. So I decided to then go into the So Jaded palette and I went into the color Jasper. And this was like the perfect color and I'm just blending that into my crease and just making sure that it melts into the other colors before I go back into that elf palette I decided to take Jasper which um, is the so jaded palette color I decided to take that all over my lids just to give my lids a base because we're not using any shimmers this is a very matte look now I'm going into the elf palette and I'm using my Vasanti like crease brush and I'm taking that black color which is the color genuine and I am deepening my outer V and creating that smoky eye slash creating dimension on my eye and I'm really pulling it out because I want to make it look nice and smoky next taking my Hank and Henry slick with it blickety black eyeliner I'm going to create a winged liner and then I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the Maybelline Snapscara mascara on my top lashes I was actually pleasantly surprised by this mascara I really love the wand on it because it's triangular shaped so in the inner part of your eye it fits perfectly and it doesn't like transfer so I loved it Next, I'm going to be applying some eyeliner. I'm using the, the Lorac, the Lorac, what is that? Gel eyeliner, and I'm using it on my tight line. So I want to make sure that when I put my false lashes, you won't be able to see that they're false lashes. And for false lashes today, I'm using the e.l.f. Luxe Lash Kit, and this is in Winged and Bold. Now, we're going to go on to the face. So I'm priming my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and then I did also 
use the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Multitasking Spray. I usually spray that first and then I go ahead and let that sink in and then I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because I want to make sure that my pores are nice and filled and my face looks flawless. Next, I'm going to be doing a combo of the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation in Medium Beige and I'm going to use that Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer in the color Light Honey. So the concealer is much lighter and being that I'm doing a skull look, I wanted my shade to be much lighter. So you see me putting a whole bunch of concealer all over my face. This is a very full coverage concealer. But I did dab a little bit of the Pro Matte uh, HD Longwear Matte Foundation because I knew I was going to be wearing this makeup from 8 o'clock in the morning to about 8 o'clock in the night. So I really did want it to last. So that's why I mixed the two and made that little like cocktail for my foundation. Then I'm going to go ahead and take that same concealer and I'm going to brighten my under eyes because like I said, I really wanted to look as pale as possible and use the products that I have at home without dipping into like Halloween makeup. I'm using my Essence sponge to blend all of that out, making sure there are no creases under my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the Derma Blend Powder again, and I'm going to use my sponge to set under my eyes because like I said, I want it to look nice and flawless under there because we are doing some makeup on the face. So I want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just dabbing out everywhere I had the concealer, putting that Derma Blend Powder. Next, I took my Aesthetica face brush and I'm just dusting whatever powder I had under my eyes all over my face. You know, waste not, want not. Next, going into the So Jaded palette and I'm using the color Jasper yet again. And I am going to create these like elongate where my eyebrows are just to kind of make myself look like I'm mad, I guess. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You just see me pushing the shade up and then pushing the shade down and making sure that it's nice and blended. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in to the fluffy brush and I'm gonna use that warm color again and I'm gonna contour now like I'm gonna really snatch my cheeks as much as I can to make it look like a skull and I am following the photo so she had it contouring at her hairline and then coming in and then rounding it out on the bottom so that's what you see me here doing I'm just kind of creating off of what I'm looking at which is that photo that I showed you in the beginning I'm doing the same thing and I'm being really light-handed with this because it is a very pigmented shadow and I don't want it to look too muddy. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in to that other shade, the darker chocolatey shade. I think it's called Calm, uh, excuse me, Smooth. And I'm just doing a little bit more definition within that small contour that I'm doing, I'm just doing it like halfway and not even taking it all the way down. And yeah, that's what you see me doing here. Just creating and blending, creating and blending because I wanted to make sure that this is, wasn't too, too harsh. So we'll see what happens. Next, I felt like it was just a little bit too, too blown out. So I went in with my essence sponge and my Derma Blend powder and I basically fixed the contour with the powder and just like kind of let it I just kind of went around it just to clean it up a little bit just because I felt like it was a little bit too muddy and I just let the powder sit there for a little bit now I am going in with the Hank and Henry slick with me or slick with it excuse me bliggity black eyeliner and I'm using this to create the skull nose and this part took a little long just because my hand wasn't so steady I like I said was going off of that picture that I got off of Pinterest so I'm trying my best to not make it as rounded as I did but unfortunately I did make it rounded 
and I filled in with that same liquid liner, which I should have really filled it in with my Maybelline gel liner because it was sitting right in front of me, but I was in a rush at that point. Next, I went in with that Genuine powder and I tried to make sure to fan and let it dry. <laughs> I wipe all that bake off just to make sure that it's nice and clean under the contour. As you can see, that's what I'm doing, just making sure that everything is nice and blended. And then last but not least, I am going in with my lower lash line. So I took the Lorac gel liner and I took it on my waterline. Then I took it under my waterline and then everything that I did on my lids, I did on my lower lash line. I went ahead and I used that warm color from the e.l.f. palette and then I went in and tried to smudge it out as much as I can using my Moda dual ended brush. And I'm going as close as possible to my lower lash line because I didn't want it to look too, too blown out. I wanted it to be a little bit more intricate because this is a skull and you're supposed to create like shadows with it. And I'm not very good at it, so bear with me, guys. I went in to the So Jaded palette and I took Jasper on that Vasanti brush because I cleaned it off and I ran that on my lower lash line so that it meshes well with the lid colors and everything just kind of looks a little bit more monochromatic. And now I'm here figuring out how I'm going to create these skeleton teeth. I decided to take my Hank and Henry liner yet again and start to create the skull mouth. So I take the liner on each one of my sides and I extend my mouth line out. And then you can see here I am drawing, I guess, like the teeth it would be. I'm just using that liner as my guideline. And then I decided to go in with white to create the teeth. And I did a combo of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and then I did the NYX Liquid Liner in White, which I have to get a new liquid liner because that one just dried out and it was like a bust. But the Jumbo Liner worked out really well. After I started applying the Jumbo Liner, I realized I should have put the liner, excuse me, I should have put that on my lips first and then draw the actual teeth but I made it work anyway. And then now I'm going in and gonna spray my face. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me setting spray. And this is just to refresh because I have so much powder on my face right now with all the contouring and everything. And yeah, then I'm gonna put my mascara on and we're done. And this is the final look. So if you guys enjoyed watching me recreate this skull type of look, then please like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload videos, which is on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. And yeah, this was super fun to recreate. I love it. I think it looks great. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and the support. Happy Halloween. And I'll see all you beauties in my next video. Bye.